The 3D High Speed Dynamic OptiRough Toolpath is now available for all mill and router product levels. Previously, Dynamic OptiRough was only available for mill 3D. The Dynamic OptiRough Toolpath machines very large cut depths with a bi-directional cutting strategy to remove the maximum amount of material with the minimum number of step downs. The Dynamic OptiRough Toolpath allows you to create a single toolpath to machine a part instead of creating multiple 2D operations to achieve the same goal. This toolpath is collision aware of the part, and for complex machining, the toolpath can also be aware of your tool holder by using options on the holder page. Access the Dynamic OptiRough Toolpath from the 3D gallery in the Mill Toolpaths contextual tab. The new multi-axis unified toolpath allows you to select multiple pieces of input geometry to generate the toolpath pattern. Then, using those geometry choices, the toolpath picks the best algorithm to calculate the path. An example is using chains to influence the cut pattern or two surfaces between which to morph. This single toolpath gives you access to all these surface-based toolpaths, morph, parallel, along curve, and project as well as the geodesic toolpath options automatic guides in a single interface. You can add or remove patterns such as switching from a parallel to a chain pattern to a morph between two surfaces without starting the toolpath over. Choose from four drive patterns, automatic, curves, surfaces, plane. The curve, surface, and plane patterns are similar to options in parallel or morph toolpaths such as parallel to curve, morph between curves, parallel to surface, morph between surfaces, or parallel to a plane. When you choose a pattern type, an entry appears in the pattern table. You can have multiple entries of a pattern in the table. Note that the style column is a dropdown containing options to use with the pattern. The multi-axis unified toolpath uses the new geodesic algorithm when the pattern is set to automatic, or when curves and surfaces are set to guide. Geodesic is defined as the shortest line between two points on a curved surface. Mastercam's geodesic algorithm eliminates the distortions you may get when generating a toolpath over such a surface. The geodesic automatic pattern takes the extents of the geometry you have selected and tries to find its boundary. It then creates, based on the style you choose, a toolpath that is either parallel to the boundary or morphs between a central shape and the boundary. Access the Multi-Axis Unified Toolpath from the Multi-Axis Gallery on the Mill Toolpaths Contextual tab. The Linking Parameters page for 3D high-speed toolpaths except for Dynamic OptiRough, Horizontal Area, and Area Roughing, has been redesigned and now includes new and improved functionality. The new Apply Leads option allows you to add leads to transition moves. For example, you can add a vertical arc entry or exit move to a pass and then use a smooth transition to connect raw passes. You can apply these leads to open passes or both open and closed passes. The new Maximum Lift option helps to avoid long, tall, or steep transition moves. After the transition moves are calculated, Maximum Lift analyzes the transition moves for a total height in Z and compares it to the Maximum Lift distance. If the transition moves exceed the maximum lift distance, the transition moves are replaced by a simple retract. The new Fit Transitions option trims the passes to safely fit the transition moves. In previous Mastercam releases, raw passes were only trimmed to safely accommodate the retract and lead connection moves, not transition moves. The Transitions page has been removed and the relevant options moved to the Transition group in the Linking Parameters page. 
Use these options to configure the entry move that the tool will make as it transitions to new Z levels. The Keep Tool Down Within option has been moved from the Cut Parameters page to the Linking Parameters page. This option prevents the tool from retracting between passes. The Curl Up and Curl Down options have been consolidated into a single ArcFit Radius option in the Retract group. ArcFit Radius is available for all retract types and rounds the sharp moves found in all retract moves. When selecting geometry for a 2D dynamic mill, area mill, or dynamic mill toolpath, you can use the new automatic regions selection to automatically create machining, air, or avoidance regions based on the selected solid geometry. After you make your selection, Mastercam automatically adds in air or avoidance regions in addition to the selected machining regions. You can also convert the selected automatic regions into machining, air, or avoidance regions by using the Convert Automatic Regions button in the Chain Options dialog box, the Toolpath Type page, or from the Chain Manager right-click menu. In Mastercam 2022, you can create and edit multi-holder mill tool assemblies in the Mill Tool Manager within Mastercam. You can import tools and holders from a library and or create components from scratch when building your tool assemblies. When you select Create Tool Assembly or Edit Tool Assembly from the right-click menu in the Tool Manager, the Mill Assembly Designer function panel displays. The new workflow allows you to stack multiple holder components from different libraries into one assembly. You can save geometry to a level or file. Prior to this release, the Mill Tool Manager was only available with an active mill or lathe license. In Mastercam 2022, you can now access the Mill Tool Manager with just a design license. This is accomplished by the addition of design groups that you can use to create, edit, update, and delete tools that have not yet been assigned to a mill machine group. Tools can be moved to and from the design group, either to a machine group in the part tool list or to a library. Select Mill Tool Manager on the Machine tab to manage your tools. Mastercam 2022 introduces the concept of a display tool. When turned on, a display tool shows the selected tool during functions not directly connected to a toolpath. When you choose your display tool, a visual indicator appears in the part tool list. Note that only one display tool may be active at any given time. The display tool can be set only in the upper tool list of the mill tool manager or the lathe tool manager. You can now export tool components to a level, file, or library from the mill and lathe tool managers. Right-click an item in the list and select an option from the menu. These options save the current tool position as wireframe and or solid geometry to a specific level using specified entity attributes. This geometry can then be used to create tool assemblies or 3D models. Cut Method drop-down on the Cut Parameters page has been replaced with the Closed Contour Direction and Open Contour Direction drop-downs. These new drop-downs allow you to create more efficient cutting motion and include reduced retracts on open contours. Closed Contour Direction sets the cutting direction for closed contours, creating continuous motion without the need for a retract or reversal of direction. Open Contour Direction sets the cutting direction for open contours. Waterline also includes two new Closed Contour Direction options, Climb Spiral and Conventional Spiral. These new cut styles provide cleaner finishes, less machining motion, and fewer retracts. Spiral also helps to avoid creating marks on the part due to step-down motion. Climb Spiral cuts in one direction in a spiral pattern, 
with the tool rotating in the opposite direction of the tool motion. Conventional spiral cuts in one direction in a spiral pattern, with the tool rotating in the same direction as the tool motion. You can now determine how a waterline tool path handles flat areas and apart. Use the new Critical Depths group on the Cut Pattern page to further customize this handling. Use the Type drop-down option to determine the types of flat areas to be machined, such as Flats Only, which allows you to machine only flat areas. You can also manually select the flat areas using the Manual option, or you can use Extend to extend out these flat areas. When machining bosses and features that are close to each other, Mastercam now optimizes the cut order for waterline toolpaths. When creating a hole making toolpath, you can now select a solid hole operation from the Solids Manager to populate the feature list in the toolpath hole definition function panel or use standard Mastercam selection controls to select the solid from the graphics window. You can also remove individual positions from those holes to be machined. The new check collision function allows you to determine if you can machine the part with the defined holder and tool combination. If the tool is long enough, check collision can also automatically adjust the height to be clear of any collisions. Mastercam displays one of three conditions for each hole in the features list. The green check indicates no problems. The yellow exclamation indicates a problem, such as the hole depth being greater than the flute length. The red X indicates a gouge. If there is a collision or warning, the collision check tells you what part of the tool is causing the problem, shank, shoulder, or holder. If the holder is gouging, you can do one of the following. Adjust the projection manually by typing in a new number. Click and drag the holder on the graphics screen. Select the Optimize Projection button to get the minimum extension needed. The Preview Opacity slider controls the translucency of the hole walls in the graphics window, allowing you to view any issues with your part. Access this function by clicking the Check Collisions button in the Linking Parameters page of Hole Making Toolpaths. To quickly see the current status of your linking parameters, use the Display Collisions option to show collisions using the current settings. By selecting this option, you can continue to make modifications to the parameters on this page while simultaneously viewing any collision issues in the graphics window. In the graphics window, Mastercam displays a cylinder that represents the entire stroke for each hole. If you selected a wireframe point or line where the diameter is not available, Mastercam uses the diameter of the tool for the whole width. The opacity of the cylinders and the displays of the bands or areas of collisions is controlled by the Check Toolpath Collisions function panel options. A new option, Automatic Linking, is now available on the Linking Parameters page for hole making toolpaths. When selected, Mastercam modifies your clearance, retract, top of stock, and depth parameters to avoid collisions with the solid model or the selected avoidance geometry. A new option, Number of Cuts Along Edges, allows you to add multiple cuts to the D-Bird toolpath, rounding or flattening edges, to create a quality edge on D-Bird parts. The new Tilt Range option allows you to limit tilt when machining type is set to 5 axis or 3 plus 2 axis on the Tool Axis control page. Enter minimum and maximum values to control the tilt range of the tool.